It's always been a dream of mine to record an album with Wildman Fisher. The rare seven inch. And our friends would say, send it to Dr. Demento. And we sent him off fish heads and we became unknowingly or unwittingly kind of like the reigning gods of dementia for a couple of years. Mm. And, and uh, until Weird Al came along. First time I ever heard Larry's music was listening to Dr. Demento's show. I really, no, I really believe this. That Dr. Demento, Herbie Cohn, Warner Brothers Records put a contract on my life. I freaked out. I was supposed to do a show with Weird Al and Dr. Demento. I was going to be on the show, and they canceled me from the show. They wanted me to Dr. Demento. Ah, this is getting, you know, we, they canceled me from the show. Wow. I really, no, I really thought people were trying to kill me. I'm not trying to kill you. The conspiracy in Larry's mind, uh, in his mind, it was Barnes and Barnes, Dr. Demento, Weird Al, Weird Al Yankovic. My first album had a song called "I'll Be Mellow When I'm Dead," and Larry heard that song on the radio. And there's one line in the song that says, like, wow, man, can you relate? And Larry had me in the phone and says, ah, what do you mean? Did you say, like, wild man, can you relate? Like, wild man, can you relate? I'll be mellow when I'm dead. I'll be mellow when I'm dead. You're trying to kill me, Al? You're trying to kill me, aren't you, Al? No, Larry, I'm not trying to kill you. You're trying to kill me, Al! Like, wow, man, can you relate? I'll be mellow when I'm dead. 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 The amazing thing was after that crazy episode Larry had